In the final edition of this season's Super A Stadium Travel, sees a visit to the Halliwell Jones Stadium, home with the Warrington Walls. After the coach journey, to forget to be honest, this took us an hour to get from Wigan to Warrington. Potentially the last stadium travels of the season. Bad in an away semi final in Old Trafford, that is. We are here at the Alibel Jones Stadium. Something which we haven't featured before, just by where the ticket office is. I think it's the mosaic. But it does have a mention of the Challenge Cup final of 2012. A nice addition from Warrington is a little sign over there. Thank you to Wigan for travelling 10 miles. Concessions review will come from the original New York Street hot dog, the Frank's original over there. So the concessions review, as previously referenced, Craig didn't go to the whole game, so we couldn't do one for him then, but he's here at Warrington. Go on. What are you reckoning tonight? After this game, eventually, you know, things happen. But, um, concessions, yeah, very good. Didn't have to peel off, you know, not the stadium, so it's all, you know, it's all dolled up down there. And £2.50 for this. Um, Obviously, other drinks are available, we have to reference that. I can't complain too much. So go on, if we're giving it a number. Give it a nine. Right, nine out of ten concessions. I think that's a boost on the last one. Well, here we are at the Alleywell Jones Stadium. Better conditions than the last visit. Anyone who's watched a previous video, absolutely thundered down back in April. Hopefully the result won't be the same as April either, because I don't anticipate another 40-10 defeat, let's put it that way. But decent weather, a bit windy tonight anyway. Seems there's a plane flying over in the distance here. Don't know what the message on it says. Not too sure to be honest. So, not long until kick-off to be honest, and it's filling up quite nicely here. That's the main stand by the screen. Far end. And over on the other side for tonight's game, we found as always the game they program at Warrington, always a perfect one as well, 10 out of 10. Young lad on the front, I can't remember what his name is anyway, but anyway, it's a good read. So, here's the entertainment because of a bit of a video problem, we didn't get the full routine, but why that's over there in the distance. Well, it's filled up quite nicely here at the Alleywell Jones, don't know whether I'm coming through well on this video to be honest. Teams are about to come out now, Warrington and Wigan. Lovely pyrotechnics as always at Warrington. So, Warrington against Wigan, it's a Super H round six. Warrington can pick up the shield tonight, but whether we'll be here to see it, obviously, if we can do lose, people will be getting to the coach sharpest, so we don't know what's going to happen in that sense. Attend the statistics for tonight. 220th overall game for me in the modern era, 207th for Wigan. 14th against Warrington, six wins, six losses, and one draw. So, pretty even record. 51st away game, obviously the 50th was last week at all, which was a success. After my 140th win out of 207 for Wigan. Uh, where are we hoping to avoid the 65th loss overall? 48th game of the year for me. Number 50 should come next week with Catalan. But 13th Super H game overall. Amazing atmosphere before kickoff, guaranteed 10 out of 10 for that. So here we go, Warrington Wigan. Just after 8 o'clock kickoff. As far as the entertainment's concerned here at Warrington, we have the Fly Emirates Kick Challenge in the middle. We have the wireless over there in the corner. Well, say in the corner, in the middle there. Kicking challenge in the middle. 10 out of 10 for entertainment, as always at Warrington though. So, half time here at the Alleywell Jones Stadium, and it's a bit of a mixed one as a Wigan fan to be honest. Warrington 16, Wigan 14. Continuing the entertainment, the Fly Emirates Challenge. No, that wasn't very good. So, second contestant's going to have a go. Is he going to get a bit closer than the last one? Come on, hurry up. The one at all, you have to kick it into the back of a course then, if you kicked it in you won it. I think it was a course in anyway. Right, let's see if he can do it. Nope! 
Right, contestant number three. That was decent though. Into the final minute here at the Hallywell Jones Stadium and as a Wigan fan, it's a great one. Absolutely brilliant, down to 12 men after Ben Fly was sending off Wigan. Not only drew level, but a lead and I'm literally shaken. Big leader Shield is firmly back in the case. It won't be one tonight. I apologise for the language from the Wigan fans, I can't prevent that sadly. Countdown begins. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Full time at the Alamo George Center. Warrington 28, Wigan Warriors 35. No league leader sale tonight. Wigan have done all last week and Warrington tonight. What a game! Advert for Rugby League, that game sums it up, absolutely top class, absolutely stunning, I'm literally shaking, unbelievable, if that's the last stadium travel to the year, I've gone out on a very good eye, hopefully it isn't, hopefully I may be doing Old Trafford, if an away game in the playoffs, signing off here from Nelly Well Jones once again, Warrington 28, Wigan 35. After being deposed of a top three spot by Hull FC's improvement in the last two great visit, Warrington re-move into the top three with one point difference from the previous visit. The concessions went up from eight to nine. Obviously, there's still potential for it for a potential visit there again this season as it is for Hull. So this may or may not be the last day in troubles. If we can do get a home tie in the playoffs, it would be Old Trafford that would finish the season if they reach there. If not, this will be the final stadium travels of the season.